Aloha and welcome back. This is Natasha. So this video is going to be a continuation of the last video I posted on my YouTube channel. And this is going to be turning those turnabout stamp backgrounds into cards. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, so I made those backgrounds in the last video and I'm going to turn them now. I'm going to turn three of them into cards for you here. Okay, so first I took that silver black mirrored cardstock and I cut out the word thanks. And then using this My Favorite Thing stitched rounded square die, this is the largest one in, um, in the, the pack. And run that through my die cutting machine and it cuts out the frame as well as the inside piece. Okay, so this is the Hero Arts Ombre turnabout um, background there. Okay, so I took a pale pink cardstock and I'm gonna be scoring that at four and a quarter to make my side folding card base. I'm just taking my bone folder and I'm gonna crease uh, my crease there to make it a nice crisp crease. Okay, and then I took the frame of the rounded square and I'm gonna I added some foam adhesive to that and I'm gonna attach that to the middle of my card front here okay and then uh, taking liquid adhesive I'm gonna add the middle like focal panel inside of the frame I just had to finagle because it has to go a certain way. And then taking my tweezers, I'm going to start adhering with some liquid adhesive my um, die cut letters for the word thanks. So I'm starting with the N and I do have it off camera. There you go. I pushed it up. And so I'm just adding some liquid adhesive and I'm going to try to get these letters on as straight as possible. There's another way that you can make sure that they are straight is to take the negative of the word the die cut keep it place that over the area that you want to place the letters on and then just inlay onto the negative and then when you're done pull the negative off okay but i of course didn't do that i just wanted to get it done and skip the extra step okay so this is basically all I do for this card. I use some matte multi-medium and I use some flat crystal sequence. <clears throat> really nice. It just gives it that, just that extra pop that it needs and it doesn't need anything else because that turnabout center piece there is gorgeous enough. So just a couple of little sprinkling of that sequence there okay and that will be for card number one and I'm going to move on to the second card that I made with these backgrounds so taking that yellow and pink toned um, background I'm going to be using the Lawn Fawn um, wacky stitch frame I cut that out and uh, sorry, the, the light's going to get funky on this on this video here. I ended up having to stop filming and, and continue filming at night because the sun was setting through my blinds and my, my window next to my desk and it was causing all kinds of problems with, the, with my filming. So taking that uh, banner die cut that came in the, in the turnabout kit and I cut that out of vellum and I want to use this congrats that came in the stamp set that came in that kit. Okay, so putting that into my Misty, I'm gonna line up my congrats and I'm just gonna stamp that with some Versa, uh, yeah, Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink. And see already here, you can already see all the, yep, there's the sun setting through my blinds. So, okay. I'm also taking some of that black flat sequence and I'm going to be adhering that to my panel as well. So taking some matte multimedium, I just 
put some adhesive behind the word congrats. And I'm just gonna lay um, a heavy acrylic block and let that dry. I'm just making sure it's straight. Okay, so I believe here, I, I this is now at night so that I don't have all that weirdness coming through my window. Okay, so that's completely adhered, the vellum. I like it, it, it just gives a little bit a distraction for the sentiment to go on top of all that stamping in the back, but not enough to take away from that gorgeous stamping in the back. Okay, and I'm just adding the flat black sequence there. And I'm gonna also be adhering this panel to um, the same pale pink cardstock. I did take this uh, pink shimmer lacquer pen that came in one of the Hero Arts kits. And I just added a couple of beads on uh, the vellum. Okay, I'm just adhering that with liquid adhesive. And then that will be done for the second card that I did with this, the background stamping. Okay, gorgeous. Just really let that stamping in the background take center center stage there. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the card number three, and this one is my favorite. So I took this Spellbinders Nestability Nestabilities. It's the scallop squares, the large. I've had this in my stash for so long. <laughs> I I've just I don't know. I, I don't even know how long I've had it. So I'm taking the largest one because um, it's like a pack of six. So I took the largest one and I cut out that panel there. Okay. And then I also cut out with the banner die, cut out out of white cardstock, a banner. Okay, so I'm looking for a birthday greeting. So I found the My Favorite Things textile rectangles and I'm gonna use that birthday greeting there. Put um, the panel into my Misty and I'm gonna be using the same VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp up my sentiment. Perfect, and it says, I remembered your birthday. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stamp something on the inside of this card. Um, just to coordinate with the outside stamp. So taking some tumbled glass distress oxides, oxide ink and then taking the distress brush, I'm just gonna be brushing on some color around the edges. I kind of wanted it to go a little more with the um, turnabout background. Okay, so they're perfect. It just gives it that little bit of pop so it's not the white on white, it was getting too lost. I'm gonna take some craft cardstock that I have in a, a side folding card base and I'll use some liquid adhesive. I'm gonna attach that diagonally onto my card front. And I love this idea. Like I was, you know, my mom was here over the weekend and she was actually here with me while I was making this video. And um, once I turned it side like that, she was, she was like, oh, wow, that looks really, that looks really good. So sometimes, you know, just fiddling around with it. And even though it was meant to be a square, um, you can turn it on its diagonal and it becomes a beautiful focal point on this craft cardstock. So I just cut off the excess there. And then I'm going to be taking, so in the kit, there was all of these dies that cut out the, like some foliage. So I cut out a bunch out of glitter cardstock, shimmer cardstock, just like random cardstocks that I had on my desk, um, you know, from previous cards that I had made, I save all the little pieces. So just adding some matte multimedium to the back and I'm just gonna be sticking all this foliage behind, underneath the um, sentiment strip because the sentiment strip, I forgot to mention, I did pop up on foam adhesive. So there is some room behind it for me to kind of stick the uh, foliage behind. Okay, so I just take, it took a bunch of colors and I'm just gonna be sticking a bunch. And I did end up I took two sprigs of 
the branches and I stuck it on the bottom of the sentiment strip as well. And this one is my favorite out of the three that I made. This one came out so gorgeous. I just am in love with it. So there you go. That's everything stuck in, all good to go. Now I'm gonna take the um, flat cri um, crystal sequence and I'm just gonna adhere a couple here and there. So at first I was just gonna do these three on the sentiment strip. I think I put three on here. And then a happy accident happened and when I was trying to put my sequence away, one dropped onto my card, the card front. And I was like, oh, I think I wanna, yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. It just adds to the whole card. So that's what I did. I added two more on the top. Okay, and so, yeah. Adhere those two with the multi matte multimedium, and that will be it for the third card. I'm gonna put it up a little closer so that you can kind of see the finished product, and that's it. It was so, it was so fun to make these cards, seriously, and to use that turnabout kit. I, yeah, I love the turnabout. I'm so happy that I got that toolkit and I'm going to be using it. I'm going to buy a couple more of the turnabouts from Concord and Knight. So I'm super excited and really stoked about it. Okay. Here are a couple of still shots of the three cards that I made with the backgrounds from the previous video. And I'm excited because they're, I have one congrats card, one thanks card and one birthday card. So, you know, always adding to the stash of cards that you need. And yeah, and it was fun to do. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And look at that beautiful card. I just had to stop. Oh, and um, hit that like button and leave a comment below. And I will catch you on the next video. Mahalo.